Hey, good morning. Pastor Steve here. I'm in 1 Kings and my morning devotionals I've been reading. In 17, 8 through 16, the word of the Lord came to him, saying, Arise, get thee to Zarephath, which belongs to Zidon, and dwell there. Behold, I have commanded a widow woman there to sustain thee. He arose and went to Zarephath. And when he came to the gate of the city, behold, the widow woman was there gathering of sticks. And he called her and said, Fetch me, I pray thee, a little water in a vessel that I may drink. As she was going to fetch it, he called after her and said, Bring me, I pray thee, a morsel of bread in your hand. And she said, As the Lord thy God liveth, I have not a cake, but a handful of meal in a barrel, and a little oil in a cruse, and behold, I am gathering two sticks, that I may go and dress it for me and my son, and we may eat it and die. Elijah said to her, Fear not. Go on and do as thou hast, but make me therefore a little cake first, and bring it to me, and after make for you and your son. For thus said the Lord God of Israel, The barrel of meal shall not waste, neither shall the cruse of oil fail, until the day that the Lord sends rain upon the earth. And she went and did, according to the saying of Elijah, and she and her house had meat many days. And the barrel of meal wasted not, neither did the cruse of oil fail, according to the word of the Lord, which she spoke by Elijah. Wow! Psalm thirty-seven twenty-five. David said, I've been young and an old, and I've never seen the righteous forsaken or seed begging bread. Now this is not a biblical promise. It is an observation of David in his lifetime. He said, I have not seen. I assume that he meant that David did his part to alleviate hunger. Never let anyone go in that state. When someone's hungry, it's our job to feed them. God miraculously fed Elijah at the brook Kerith before he came to this woman. He miraculously uh, fed Elijah and this woman and her son. But more often, he leads it to us to feed the hungry people. This is a story of trust. The woman had to trust Elijah and trust God enough to feed the prophet and take her chance with the rest. It was a well-placed trust. She was called on to feed one of God's own, and she stepped up. When she did, God supplied her need. When you and I are called on to do the same, we can pretty well be assured that he will not leave us hanging. We, uh, he'll be able to, to make us keep giving. Paul said in Corinthians, 2 Corinthians 9, 6, Consider this, whoever sows sparingly will reap sparingly. Whoever sows generously will reap generously. You take care of the needy ones, and God will take care of you. And recall that this widow was called on to trust to sacrifice before the plenty came. You may be too. You, you ponder that, Pastor Steve.